This is gonna be our very first look on this very new survival game with a little bit of hunting aspects to it as well. This is Open Country and this is actually a sponsored video. So uh, yeah, now that has been disclosed as well. There is a link if you want to pick up this game. It is $14.99 dollars if i remember correct and it's um co-op as well if you want to be playing it with your friends too but let's just get into it i did play through what i think is the tutorial and i'm gonna give you a little bit of what happened during that this is the intro cutscene where we're gonna go down and talk with a guy that's gonna send us on a few missions just so we get the basic understanding of what is actually gonna go on in this game and we start off with having to uh, build a campsite just so we know about the resting and uh, basically just the crafting in the game i think i wanted to be put down up here somewhere um, it's just gonna take me a while to get up there, but uh, we'll get there eventually. Can we, like, turn it around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mouse wheel. And uh, scroll it around a little, and we can place it exactly like we want it. We want it to be looking out over the uh, water, for sure. I think right here should be just about perfect. Let's go. Now we need to start a campfire. Ignite. An improvised fire ignition tool, cheap and effective. This is good replacement for the proper igniter. Start fire. Hey, we made fire. Now we need to cook some mushrooms. I think we had mushrooms over here behind the... Oh. Can we walk in the fire? Does that hurt? No. No fire damage. All good. Don't need to worry about that then. And we got the shrooms right here. Pick those up. And I believe we need to just go back to the fire and then interact with it. Prepare grilled mushrooms. Let's go. All right, boys. Resting time. I don't, I'm not quite happy with that already going to bed now, though. I think maybe we should run around and check a little more here. We could be, um, we could be upgrading this stuff. Upgrade your camp with a roof extension. The added structure will also allow you to stash boxes. Yeah, okay, we, we do this first. We need proper robe, branch, and log. That's actually going to be quite interesting. I don't know if it's going to be, like, uh, improving our sleep or anything like that, but definitely, I, I want to be building something. Let's get this upgraded now that we have everything. Would you look at that? Oh! we upgrade it even more? Oh, we can reinforce it as well. Further upgrade your camp. That added structure will also allow you to add a water collector. Resting time needs to be at least three hours. But if we do it that three hours, some needs are getting too low. So we can't be doing that. We can be doing up to this. And then it's going to be in the middle of the night. So I don't want to do that. Let's just do this and check it out. Return to the lodge and talk to Gary is going to be the next part. So let's just get back to our van and see what that is going to be all about god damn this guy runs out of stamina faster than i do and i'm a fat guy and when we got back to gary he actually had more stuff to us and uh, this time we're gonna go hunting so he hands over a uh, map and a gun well a rifle and we're gonna go and uh, start helping him fill up the freezers so uh, i'm just narrating these because you know cutscenes takes quite a long time and uh, if you're gonna play it yourself, you're gonna see them. Another thing also worth noticing is the amount of weapon skills, survival skills, and crafting skills that you can take to better your character as you level up. You gain experience by, um, so far I've realized you gain it by doing the missions and uh, such. Um, I don't know if you do by building too, but um, I'm only in the tutorial in this part. But there is a lot of different stuff that definitely can help your character get better at different traits. So uh, that is actually super cool. But let's get out and shoot some animals. We get close enough on it before it decides to go into the burrow. Okay, one of them is gone. Oh, we got it! <laughs> Press and hold down V to use Hunter Sense. It highlights interactable items around you. Hunter Sense will deplete your needs. We got a porcupine. Cool. Let's go. Got more stuff over there. Oh, that's a rabbit. That's a very clunky rabbit, but it's a rabbit. 
wonder if it's seen me. Oh, definitely has now. Oh, we slaying these things, guys. <laughs> oh, let's go. Well, it's definitely not like hunting in uh, some of the hunting games we play. But this could go... I, I think this could be pretty interesting, to be sure. Um, but that is also the thing, because I think a lot of people, at least from my community, has always been like, I want it to be a hunting... Oh! A hunting game, and... This is a survival game with a hunting aspect, so there is not as much emphasis on the hunting as there would be in a real hunting game. But this, so far, seems pretty fun. Let's see if we can see anything with our binos. I don't see where they went. Get up here and see if we can see something. Can't have gone that far, they were just down here. I see our porcupines and such, but where did- oh, it's over there. Let's go. Watch your thirst and be careful not to drink dirty water. In order to drink from the flask, open the toolkit by pressing mouse button 3 and use the flask. Refill the flask by using it while next to or in a body of water. running water. Still water is dirty and will give you parasites if you drink it before boiling. It's over there. Right over there. You think we can make that shot? I don't know. We're gonna try. I'd like to get just a tiny bit closer. We're just gonna go for it. There we go, boys. Down she goes. Oh, shooting fish in a barrel right here. Damn, speedy boy. Shoot some rabbits in the area. We did that. Need to pick up everything, I suppose. That was a badger. Oh, no. We've got... Oh, we got way too fat. Sounds like there's something moving around up here. Oh, there's another pronghorn. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a jumpy boy. He's gone. Well, yeah. I mean, you can clearly see the animals are not as important and as it, as uh, the uh, survival stuff. They don't look that good, but um, hey, they does the job right. We can uh, definitely go around and hunt them and get our meat and food that way. So uh, definitely, um, it it works right. And as it's not a uh, big hunting game, then I think we're gonna be all right with this. Oh, that's a rabbit over there. Oh, that's actually two. Would be really good if we could get both of those. I think we got him. Let's go. Yeah, we did. At least one of them is down right there. And oh, we got fat. And the other one is down right there. Let's go. And after we went back to talk with Gary, he sent us out to another job where we were to bring some tools on an ATV back. And uh, this is the girl we're borrowing the ATV from. Yeah, don't scratch my baby. Of course. Don't scratch the ATV. Yeah, okay. Don't, don't tell the wolves to guard sheep, right? Oh, oh, I promise not to scratch. Oh, what? <laughs> Is this like an obstacle course? I mean, it, it's gotta be, right? Oh, uh, this... Is it driving water? Oh, the steering is a little weird. It steers... 
You have to steer it and then uh, look around at the same time. There we go. Is there something in here? I didn't scratch it. I didn't do anything. Okay. There's no water to collect here either. All these tools and nothing I can take. What is this? How does... God dang. Oh! ATV cargo. There we go. And I take it we just go this way out. Oh. No scratchy. No scratchy. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Do I talk to her again then? Can I shoot her? You shoot right through them. She didn't even bat an eye. Use the ATV to collect the supplies from the large garage. Is that down there? I think it's locked. 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 I should bring the ATV closer. Okay, what you're telling me is that you're a uh, wuss. Okay. Return to Amy with the ATV. We just shot at her. Dropped off your ATV, scratch free. <laughs> He's such a liar. <laughs> What is going on with my beard? Oh, there's there's really some wonky uh, bits to this. <laughs> oh, there's some super wonky bits to this game. God dang it, man. Used the RTV to return to Gary. Oh, there's people here now. Hey, hello there. Oh, dang. You can, like, buy an actual thing now. Oh, we could get a cowboy hat. Oh, that's expensive. Oh my god. Anti-inflammatory helps with painful injuries like sprained ankles. Speeds up the healing of open wounds. Nutritious and compact. Canned beans. Elk coal, moose coal, caribou. There's all kind of coals. Red dot. Oh. All what's needed to take care of a firearm. That probably isn't a bad buy at some point. Hey. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Hello? Well, looks like, um... Hey. That was probably the tutorial then. <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> uh, can you... Is this one we can pay a 20 as well? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, there is really some funny bugs in this stuff so far. Oh, so now we have updated the map and can actually go to Tumnus Valley as well. But I suppose that is a pretty decent place to wrap it all up. And um, as quick notes of uh, how the game is so far. I think we just played through the tutorial. I actually had a lot of fun doing it. The, it's not a hunting game. So if, if you want a new hunting game that you want to play, don't buy this. If you want just a game that you can run around and have a little bit of fun in, which is um, has a lot of survival stuff. So far it's been a lot. I think it's only the tutorial we've been playing though. And um, so far it's been a lot of uh, running back and forth and trying to just figure out how the inventory and such works. It does seem to have quite a lot of depth to it with all the different uh, skills and perks and such, which is a um, big surprise to me that they, they have this much different stuff. It does seem like you can uh, get through it pretty fast with uh, the amount you're gaining the tokens and such but if you're looking for a new hunting game this is not gonna be it if you are looking for something to spend a few hours on here and there and especially because it's multiplayer then i definitely do believe you could have a lot of fun with your friends playing this game unfortunately i wasn't able to get any of my friends to join me in uh, this one simply because it is not out yet as uh, this is a sponsored video and i have received um, the game for instance um early and 
for free. So uh, it is a piece of sponsored content. This does not mean that I'm going to be uh, totally biased towards whatever because they asked me to be ruthless as always. So yeah, the graphics, very, very vibrant, lots of colorful. The animals, well, well no reason to really beat around the bush. They don't look good compared to the uh, hunting games that we're used to playing, but they get the job done. Um, the uh, little bit of hunting and such we've been doing so far, it's not impressive. It doesn't have anything to do with hunting. It is just shoot the animal so far and go pick it up, sell it or use it for meat or for missions. But I definitely want to be uh, continuing and uh, see uh, where we're going to land. I'm probably going to be streaming more of it over on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv forward slash SegaDK. Make sure to check it out if you want to come hang out or just want to come hang out in general. But uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And uh, I'm probably going to be at least making another video now that we're out of the tutorial kind of thing. But uh, to not make it um, a 40 minute video, this is going to be where we're going to be cutting part one. So thank you guys so very much for watching.